This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com. In this video, I'll be showing you a few of the different post hoc tests. An ANOVA will tell us if group means are significantly different, but it won't tell us which specific means are different. For example, it does not differentiate between one and two or two and four. For that, we need to run a post hoc test. There are more than a dozen common post hoc tests. Which one you use largely depends on your preference, what type of software you're using, or sometimes you'll want to use a specific test for specific purposes. The Bonferroni procedure is a multiple comparison post hoc correction, and you use this when you're performing many independent or dependent statistical tests at the same time. The problem with running many simultaneous tests is that the probability of a significant result increases with each test run. The Bonferroni sets the significance cutoff at alpha divided by n. For example, if you are running 20 simultaneous tests at an alpha level of 0.05, the correction would be 0.05 divided by 20. The downside to the Bonferroni is it does suffer from a loss of power, and it's also sometimes viewed as too conservative. There is a less strict version called Holmes Sequential Bonferroni Post Hoc Test. Duncan's multiple range test will identify pairs of means that are different. It uses something called a Q value, and many different post hoc tests are quite similar except they use uh, different values. For example, Fisher's least significant difference, that's the LSD, is basically the same as Duncan's, but it uses T values instead of Q values. Tookie's test is another one which is similar. It uses something called the honest significant difference. That's a number that represents the distance between groups to compare every mean with every other mean. The Benjamin Hodgeberg procedure is ideal for a very large amount of tests. With all these tests to choose from, and there are many more, you may be wondering where to start. Well, Rogers method is a post hoc test that's considered by many people to be the most powerful post hoc test for detecting differences among groups. This particular test protects against loss of statistical power as the degrees of freedom increase. Check us out at statisticshowto.com where you can find all of these post hoc tests and many more, including examples, videos, how to run the tests, and just about everything you need to run statistical analysis. Thanks for checking in, and I'll see you in the next video.